In this video I will show you how you can record your desktop with a lot of text without the text gets fuzzy in OBS Studio. So let's begin. So OBS Studio is a really good software to record your desktop and do a lot of different scenes that you can record a video and publish on YouTube and you can stream to YouTube and other services directly with OBS Studio. But when showing text in OBS Studio with the wrong settings, uh, the text can be very fuzzy. So let's say that I will record text from a web page like this one, my watch faces page. Uh, on my website with a lot of text. This text, as you see here, uh, often get fuzzy with the wrong settings in OBS Studio. So it will be not so easy to read on a video on YouTube, for example. So by doing that, the right settings, then you can actually have a great quality when recording video with a lot of text. So let's go into OBS Studio again and we open settings. Please, my settings is in Swedish because I am Swedish. But uh, if I change here to English, maybe. No, we can't. Uh, so it will be in Swedish, sadly. But it's very easy to change this so you don't need to understand so much you just go to the same places in the settings to see what i will explain for you it's very easy to do you should only go to the video tab and from here you should set the same canvas resolution as the output resolution it should always be the same. So these settings should always be the same. So you don't do any scaling, any upscaling or downscaling. Because upscaling and downscaling makes text fuzzy in OBS Studio when recording or streaming. So you should always have the same resolution on canvas as the output of your video always the same so if your hardware your computer for example can't record with for example let's say 60 frames per second and uh, have a high bitrate and so on then you should not change the resolution here because uh, trying to record videos in 60 fps maybe your computer will uh, be able to do that if you change the resolution but then you will get fuzzy text so the resolution should always be the same if your canvas is this then the output should always be the same so if uh, your computer can't handle such a high resolution then you have to lower your frames per seconds instead so I always record in 24 FPS. I don't do any gaming or so. I only do tutorials and other videos while I'm talking and so. So I don't need 60 FPS or 30 FPS or whatever. So I always have 24 FPS. And you can see that if you go to the record tab in these settings, I have Apple VT ProRes software encoder and you don't need to have that of course you can have another codec but the codex you can choose I can't show you any codes, codex now because I'm recording this but uh, you can have any codec actually uh, and you not will you will not have fuzzy text if you have the same resolution and will not scale your image. So you can choose, choose which codec you want here. I use ProRes because I want to have as good 
quality as possible and I use Final Cut Pro 10 and it's very easy to video edit in Final Cut Pro 10 with ProRes recorded video. So in the video tab you should have the same resolution and in this settings you should have a preferred codec for your hardware. It could be an NVIDIA codec or whatever but uh, also you can set a very high bit drift if you want and so on. Uh, you can do exactly what you want. I have uh, move as a container because uh, that is a great container together with the ProRes codec. So that was quite easy. Only have the same here. So if you have full HD 1980 resolution here, then it will be the same as the output. You should always have the same here. So that is the way to record text. So let's show you when I'm recording this screen now with the text again. As you can see, the text is uh, very crisp, no fuzzy edges, no uh, blurry text or whatever. It's very, very easy to read this. So that is how easy it is to record videos in UBS Studio without getting fuzzy and blurry text. So I hope you like this video and please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will do a lot of cool videos about hardware technology, uh, ebook reading, uh, ebook readers and a lot of cool stuff. I do a very broad category of videos, but I usually do videos about Apple stuff and ebook reading on Apple devices and ebook readers. So, please subscribe. I need more subscribers. Okay.